halftime in case you missed it. Coach Locke is back with another edition. In case you missed it, you guys ready to get it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Fellas, we're back with another one. Now, as you guys have previously reported on a previous show, J. Cole was playing professional sports. We all saw that. Well, after three games with the Rwanda Patriots BBC, his pro basketball career is over. It was announced that he left the team due to a family obligation. Now, everybody wasn't too thrilled that he played with this team and got this opportunity. Mainly, guard Terrell Stogelman from the Morocco AS Saleh team said that J. Cole's position in the Basketball Africa League is disrespectful to the game. Now, while speaking to ESPN, he said he feels like J. Cole's position could have gone to someone he feels deserves it. It's disrespectful to the ones who sacrificed their whole lives for this. He felt that Cole was taking a roster spot from someone whose only career is basketball. Basically saying that J. Cole is doing this for fun because his real job is rapping. Now, Patriots Chief Operations Officer, Haiti, and I'm going to try to get his name right, Nadashimye reassured J. Cole's addition to the team was a basketball decision. They said that they put the team together and they think could win a Bow Championship, that's B-A-L, name of the league. They have a roster of over 20 players that were ready to compete, but the final roster could only be 13, and J. Cole was one of that 13. Now, before J. Cole left, he did gift his teammates and coaches custom pumas. Now, the question I know you want to know, what was J. Cole's final stat line? Well, I'm glad you asked that. In the three games that he played in the Basketball Africa League, he averaged 1.6 points, one assist, and 1.6 rebounds. Yes, that was in three games, because his contract was for a minimum of three games, and they thought he would play anywhere from three to six. So, my thoughts on this, I kind of agree with Terrell. Yes, we know it's J. Cole's dreams, and we're supposed to chase our dreams. I understand that. But you're not going to tell me that, that someone didn't try for this team that could not average more than 1.6 points, one assist, and 1.6 rebounds in three games. Now, I get it. It brought all kind of attention to this league. It brought all kind of attention to this team. I understand that. But if we're just listening to what Terrell is saying, he's correct. There are some people out here that didn't get to play all because of COVID, so they didn't make any money, and that's how they feed their families. J. Cole feeds his family off rap. So he didn't need that money. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. It's your man, Coach Locke. I'm out. And we are back, man. It's another installment of Coach Locke's in case you missed it. J. Cole, man. Did he take somebody's spot from this team joining the Rwanda? What are the, the Rwanda Ramblers? Yeah. Weezy, you and I were talking about this in pre-production. Like, with J. Cole, yes, he brought awareness to that league. But the, and to those games and to that team simply because it's on ESPN. Sure. It was on ESPN when he was out there. And we watched it. Yeah. I watched it. Well, the first game. I, I didn't yeah. tune it after the first game. <laughs> was, you ain't missing nothing. I know. Yeah. But, <laughs> and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. and that's what makes it rough. It's like he got out there and he looked like a dude in the Y, at the Y League, yeah, nah. the, the 30 and yeah. up league at the Y. Nah, going to 10. He got some buckets. Yeah, he's going to get four. But these are, you know, no matter what level you're on, these are professional basketball players. Yeah. Probably I don't know about that Wiley. I know some people that that, that, that won't pick J. Cole. <laughs> nah, they're they gonna pick J. Cole because they fans of his music. He, and he's that's like the point. Yeah, he's yeah, he, 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 yeah, he gonna get picked at the Y yeah. just because it's high. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. That's one of those things and like Jeff mentioned, it is the J. Cole effect. Dude, nobody was watching nah, the sure. Rwanda Ramblers, whatever, no disrespect to the African League, but Dude, nobody's watching that unless J. Cole's on that team. Guess what? Nobody will watch another game of the NBA Africa League now that J. Cole has departed from that team. So, no, the NBA did a right thing, getting it some, some exposure, some eyes on that league because there was no other way they were going to get exposure unless they had a phenom playing in that league and he was going to be a top 10 pick. So, that's the best thing. That's the best case scenario for both the W and uh, the WBA, the NBA Africa League as well as the NBA. If we're at the wild, we see J. Cole out there, and you're on my team. J. Cole, like J. Cole, J. Cole? Yeah, we're playing against this okay. team. Pick up ball. Yeah. You got him? Yeah, I'll pick up J. Cole. J. Cole. Yeah, I'm picking up J. Cole. He sure. can't go left. Nah, he's one way ticket to hell. Yeah. Straight to hell. So you got him? Oh, you're saying guarding him? Yeah, you got him. Yeah, That's nah, your man. Yeah, I can guard him. Yeah, for sure. Ain't nothing. No problem. Straight in the street. Ain't nothing. Straight in the street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 